as you know, I chaired the Senate Economic Development, Trade, and Innovation Committee. And in a very important part of that committee is our focus in trying to bring about the state's Economic Development Commission's vision for Washington State. And they've identified that Washington State needs to be the most fertile ground for innovation in the world by 2020. Innovation is, is basically problem solving. It's solving relevant problems out there, providing new products in the marketplace, providing new services, and it requires a tremendous amount of creativity. But it also requires that companies who have ideas have access to lab facilities, have access to seed capital, so they can take many of these ideas, turn them into products that they can actually sell in the market. And in Washington State, we've had two organizations that have been out there trying to help small businesses do that. One is the Washington Technology Center at the University of Washington. And its job has been to provide companies lab space. It's also its job to help people apply for grants that are available out there. For example, the federal government has small business innovation research grants. And they're put out by a number of federal agencies, Department of Defense, NASA. If you go to these websites, you can see many SBIR grants. Well, their job is to help companies connect with those. Uh, their job is also to help companies connect to intellectual properties within our universities. I mean, if I'm an entrepreneur, I can go into a university and I can see what's available there. I can license that uh, intellectual property if I think that I can turn it into a product and sell it. Well, we have the WTC. It's located near the University of Washington. And then in Spokane, we have what's called CERTI. And that's the Spokane Intercollegiate Research and Technology Institute. And that really basically serves Spokane, doing a lot of the same things, except they also have an incubator there where companies can go ahead and locate. So what we decided to do in my committee is we decided to combine them together, bring both of these entities from both sides of the state together and to make one agency for the state called Innovate Why? In essence, it's a way of restructuring government to take these regional entities and turn them into statewide uh, force for innovation. And this is how it will apply. If you are a small company and you have some ideas, some ideas that will help your products move forward, you'll be able to go to Innovate Washington. They'll sit down with you and show you all the resources that are available. In fact, this Harvard professor by the name of Michael Porter just introduced, uh, came out with a study on Washington State, and he said of all the states in the Union, Washington State leads everyone in the intellectual property. We're coming up with ideas like you cannot believe more than any other state. But when it comes to creating good wage jobs from that, we really aren't in the top at all. In other words, these ideas are not translating to products and services that benefit the average hardworking person in Washington State. So, Innovate Washington, the whole idea is to combine these, make a more efficient entity, having one board of directors, and then also um, having a complete statewide focus. So if you're up in Bellingham, you'll have access to these services in Vancouver, Richland, Kennewick area, Spokane, Walla Walla, anywhere where someone, a small company, has an innovative idea, there's a service that's going to be out there to help them now. Now, another part of this bill is that um, it will help clusters in Washington State scale up. Now, what's a cluster? Um, a cluster is basically um, where you have a propensity for a certain industry. Washington State, for example, the whole viticulture or wine industry. We have all of these different companies that have built up a critical mass to where we, in fact, can be a national and global leader in that area. Global health. We have all of these companies involved in global health that has formed an economic cluster around that. Obviously, software with Microsoft also has formed a cluster with many other companies around software. We have computer manufacturing down in the Vancouver area. We've got marine technology up in Bellingham. These are all called clusters, economic clusters. Well, Innovate Washington's job is also to take these clusters and to grow them to a world status or a world competitiveness to where, um, frankly, we can take advantage of the market worldwide. And the first thing we're going to address is the clean energy sector. Innovate Washington will focus on growing this area, and by the way, um, the Richland-Kennewick area, they want to be the world center for clean energy. 
So you have the Pacific Northwest National Lab there. You've got uh, a, univer or a Washington State University facility there. Um, you have got a lot of companies there that deal with the energy sector or the energy cluster. So that's where we're going to focus first. And we're going to put money into that particular area. And we think we can bring in just a large number of research grants from the federal level. Because as you can expect, the federal government wants to invest more into alternative energies. So anyway, that's what Innovation Washington is about. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a... a a, something that the voters of Washington State will appreciate, bringing two agencies together to create something that's bigger than both of them by themselves, and uh, something that will help get our economy moving.